We have a muffler from a 1978 Honda NC50 Express. And what we're going to do is performance tune it. Now online I found some directions how to cut open the muffler, drill some holes and things like that to enhance it and hopefully to increase the speed of the moped. Right here I have a Dremel which I'm going to use to cut. As you can see on the muffler here, I've been with Sharpie have marked out the area in which I'm going to cut. I uh, made two lines there. One line was basically there's some support on the inside of the muffler and I don't want to cut on top of that because it's going to be really thick. So I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch from that. I'm going to cut out a panel and then inside the muffler I'm going to, uh, there's a series of pipes and I saw someone do this online um, and what they did was they, after they cut open the muffler, they uh, drilled holes in the pipe and that exact is basically the same process that I'm going to do and uh, hopefully gain 5, 10 miles per hour. Okay, I've begun cutting into the muffler using the Dremel. As you can see, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's working rather well. Probably going to take a, a couple discs side, I believe cut through, and now there's insulation uh, between the metal and when you hit that with the disc, it actually starts to melt it. So you'll, it kind of turns into almost a little liquid. So I'm going to keep going and see how far I can get. Okay, so I was actually in luck here. Uh, I had two discs to cut, and I cut the uh, long edge and the two short edges, which actually gave me the ability to just score the fourth uh, side of the rectangle I was cutting, enough so I could bend the metal up. I can just do the work I need to, then bend the metal down, and then have it re-welded. This is the fiber insulation that we have inside the, the muffler. And you can see it's kind of dark, stringy. And uh, what I need to do at this point is take an X-Acto or, you know, any type of razor and cut that away so I can get at the inside. Now this is to, you know, absorb the heat and things like that, keep it from uh, overheating the metal. Okay, so I've cut through. Basically there's two layers of metal. There's kind of a, uh, there's the outer layer. There's the fiber kind of insulation. And then we have kind of this uh, next layer here. As, as you can see here, there's the uh, smaller pipe that runs in the bottom there, a larger pipe in the center, and then there's a little smaller pipe here, which is in this compartment. So basically what happens is the exhaust will come in through here, and then um, it comes down the large tube and then empties into this chamber and then goes through this smaller tube back into the small compartment where the final tube that runs out the end is connected. As you can see here we have the final product of the performance tuning on the muffler. Uh, we have our kind of three layers here of the muffler wall kind of the insulation, corrugated uh, type stuff here, um, and inside we have the piping. So I basically put four large holes in this tube to the right. Um, you could have actually, I could have just kind of cut that off because it's open right at the end. You can see here I put about seven holes in the lower section. And just using a regular kind of uh, metal cutting drill bit and uh, I used a Dremel to score it so I could, uh, so the drill bit would stay on where I'm trying to drill. This is the muffler that was cut and then uh, brazed instead of welded. So that's where we get that nice gold color is from the brass. But it works. All the holes are sealed up. The hardest part was there's uh, fiberglass insulation between this metal and there's a uh, kind of looks like Swiss cheese type of metal. Between those two is the fiberglass and uh, it caught fire a lot but like I said it worked. So um, basically what I did was the inner piece uh, 
push that down, tack welded it, or tack brazed it, and then slid this upper piece down over that, and then as you can see, the braze. I have my wrench here, socket wrench with a 10 millimeter head on it, socket, and uh, if you visit HondaExpressMoped.com, uh, you will find the manual. Once those are off, which they are, I'm going to loosen this bolt up here. I have a 12 millimeter socket. Okay, so I have the stock one off. I'm just going to lightly attach the modded Honda Express muffler. Pipe is in the correct spot here. We have two 1978 Honda Express NC50s here. One is has a modified muffler and the other one has stock. So first the stock unmodified. That's idling. Now the stock modified muffler. Remember to visit HondaExpressMoped.com for more information and future performance tuning. Racing cylinder and piston. Piston having piston rings already on it. At this point, I've removed the last of the seal that was still stuck. Um, need to make sure that the indicator, this little triangle here, on the piston head is facing down towards the exhaust. 